so a set of um, old depressions that run across these sort of intensively managed grasslands here that mark the line of old sort of salt marsh drainage um, channels and we really wanted to recreate those to try and create some really nice wildlife habitat we create, as you can see, a channel uh, several metres wide uh, and up to about half a metre deep at the, the, the deepest point to create this focus of open water in the middle of a, a big wide open area. So the, the, the project's designed uh, to attract a range of wildlife, the, the things that were important for the grazing waterfowl, uh, widgeon, white-fronted geese, the feral geese as well to, to some extent, like the, the, uh, having an open body of water in a big um, wide open area. But some of the other targets were, um, uh, especially for eels, uh, an important site for eel here, so just good quality, um, uh, habitats um, for them, good clean water uh, is going to be really valuable. We're really trying to look after those those migratory fish populations, the migratory eel populations, and this will be a good um, uh, area for them to uh, to live in. So I'm delighted with the project. Just that view that you're seeing down there, uh, I think, really adds something to what could be quite a sterile, intensively managed grassland. It's now got some real top-notch wildlife value for me. Uh, how's it been working with JPR? Well, having worked with John, of course, uh, uh, for many years, it's been a real pleasure to, to get him um, back here um, to do exciting projects like this. I know this is what he gets up for in the morning. This is uh, the kind of stuff he, he, um, he, he loves to do. But it's so valuable. It's valuable having somebody that understands what your uh, objectives are. That's a kind of extra. Uh, that you're getting from, from somebody like John who, who understands what we're after.